we have to provide the IUPAC name of this molecule. But what makes this quite interesting is that we've been given the condensed formula. Now, I would not recommend that you try to name it by simply looking at that, okay? Um, I've been teaching for many years and um, I see that students do struggle with that. I even struggle with that. I always try to draw out the structural formula first. So the way I do is I start from the left. So I see there's a CH3. So I know that that's gonna look like this. Okay, then there's a CH2. So that's just gonna be like that. Okay, so we've done up to, we've done that, we've done that. Then there's a, then there's a H, a C and a CH3. So some students ask me, they're like, um, Kevin, does that mean it's part of the main part? Or does this bracket mean that it's part of the, does it mean that it's a branch? Now, there's no rule that tells us whether it's a branch or part of the main part, but it's very easy to tell. It cannot be part of the main part because how would you fit a CH3 over here? You see it is impossible, that's only a CH2. We cannot put another H over there because then these parts wouldn't be able to fit in. So it cannot be a CH3 in the main part. So what that means then is that it's a branch, okay? So what we see then is that there's a H, a C, and a CH3. So that would look like this. And then down here you could put a CH3, you see? So there is, um, let me show you how, exactly what we did here. So this C is that C. This H is that H. And then this CH3 is that CH3 over there. Okay, bit of an interesting part that, but yeah, I'm sure that's, if you just look at that a few times, you'll understand what we've done there. Okay, so we've done that, we've done that, we've done that. The next part's easy, CH2, so it's just a C with two H's, so that's part of the main chain. The next part is also easy, it's a CH2, so that's just part of the main chain. And then the next part is the ending, so that could be a CH3 because that ending has a CH3 like that. Okay, now we have to give the name. So that's just the structural formula, but now we need the name. So the longest chain would be one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, so that's hex. Uh, we're gonna name it from the left-hand side, which is this side over here, because the branch, which is this one, is we, we want the branch to be closest to the, we want the branch number to be as low as possible. So we can say that this is carbon number one, this is carbon number two, and this is carbon number three. In this branch, there is one carbon, so that's meth. So we can say methyl because it's a branch. So we can say that on carbon three, there is a methyl. And then this whole molecule, is it an alkene, alkyne, alkane, carboxylic acid? Well, it's an alkane. So you end an alkane with just naming it, labeling it or naming it, sorry, like that. So there is the final answer.